I'm going back to my childhood and probably yours too. Think Sneaky Snake, a judge and 40 coats. We're at the birthplace of some of Ireland's most beautiful characters. It's the Lambert Puppet Theatre. <laughs> It's you. Mm-hmm. Oh, with all the celebrity interviews I've done, it's you I'm starstruck about. I can't believe it. Oh, you've come to see me, have you? Yeah. No, I've actually come to see Liam. Do you know where he is? Oh, he's up in the workshop. Okay, thanks, Millie. Bye. What? Now, this is part of your father and your mum's dream and their ambition. Is it still as strong as it ever was? Oh, very much so. Um, We've just had a very successful Christmas, which I am extremely grateful to everybody for coming along and keeping us open. Uh, It's uh, still the same as it always was. Children are children and they enjoy the the shows and participating. Your dad to an awful lot of us and I was a Wonderly Wagon fan. He was the Irish Walt Disney, really, when it came to character creation, Irish character creation. How was that for you growing up, though? Um, Well, my earliest memories of it would have been uh, my father in pantomime and that with Maureen Potter and and that sort of of thing. And I remember uh, uh, sitting in the box at the side of the stage, looking at at my father on stage and sort of thinking everybody's dad would have done things like this. (laughs) Uh, It was only uh, later on that you started to realise the the difference. But it was uh, fun and it was unusual. It was hard work. And I suppose there was a lot of competition with brothers and sisters about uh, who would be playing lead parts or who would do what. Uh, A lot of competition. Oh, that's very good. Hmm? You're all wrong. He was way ahead of his time in a, an awful lot of respect. On August the 28th, 2015, the theatre fell victim to an arson attack claiming generations of memories. I don't know what my reaction really was. Uh, I just froze. The hard thing about it, I suppose, is the uh, amount of puppets that were destroyed. So it's about 300 puppets, mostly um, ones that my father had uh, made. We still haven't quite quantified it. Um, I put them away because uh, the Christmas show that we were about to open was destroyed. So we had to get straight into remaking that, uh, which we did. And then we were straight into our Christmas season. So it's only now we're really uh, discovering the extent of, of the damage. Um, but uh, it's a matter of just rebuilding everything. But the show must go on. And Liam's nephew, Richard, has been busy restoring what's been salvaged from the fire. There, a lot of them are very old. There's some Victorian puppets there. And it's it's really it's the collection that my granddad built up over the years. So um, thankfully they weren't destroyed, but there's smoke damage. So I'm spending a lot of time cleaning, trying to do do the best I can to, to get the, the, the carbon off them. Is there any one puppet that means an awful lot to you for any particular reason? There is one, one in particular, and I think there's probably a couple of my brother and my sister probably think the same, that there's, there's one puppet that was at my dad's funeral and he was also at my granddad's funeral, you know, and he means an awful lot to all of us. He's, uh, he's the fisherman from The Fisherman and Soul, an Oscar Wilde story. Um, and uh, it's, it was my dad's favourite puppet and he taught me how to do marionettes or string puppets using him and it was one of the last things that I ever did with my dad before he got ill, you know, so it's very important. Wynne and Claire Walsh are two non-family members that have joined the theatre in recent years. 
Did you wake up one morning when you were a kid and go, do you know what, I want to be a puppeteer? <laughs> no, it was actually, I've done shows and stuff for years and a friend of mine rang me and said, oh, there's an audition coming up. And I said, grand, perfect, go for it. I thought I was just going to be going in acting and singing and that was it. And then all of a sudden I was handed a puppet. And I was like, oh, OK, what do I do with this? So, uh, and Liam just stood there and went, OK, now off go. you go, manipulate. And I went, what does that mean? <laughs> and it is a skill, like it's genuinely a skill and it takes a long time to learn. So what has it been like? What has the feedback been like in front of these beautiful children that come and watch the shows? They're absolutely mesmerised and you know when you're when you're backstage and you can hear them calling out and just getting really into it it's great and sometimes they're quiet and it's hard to read that but it's not till the very end when you come out and we take a bow and their jaws are just on the floor so then you understand that silence. <laughs> No. Liam, who is this? This is the Widow Twanky, Aladdin's mum. Okay, hello Widow. And she's a rod puppet. So if we look down here, we see that there's a rod. Now if you put your hand on the handle there, okay. and then you put your fingers up to hold that, that manipulates her head, and those two rods work her hands. Okay. Here you love. Welcome to the Lambert Puppet Theatre. Great to see you. 